Hello, my name is Dark Moon Dahl, and today is Monday Morning Rant. Monday Morning Rant is a show that I started because a viewer, a subscriber, uh, really liked one of the rants that I did on my vi on my show, my channel. Uh, I don't know if it was last year or year before last. <laughs> Years go by so fast, don't they? <laughs> But because this viewer subscriber enjoyed it, I started doing more, uh, just doing a rant on Mondays. Not every Monday, but whenever I can. <laughs> and basically what Monday Morning Rant is just me ranting about things that I see in everyday life situations that really bother me. But then upon reflection and meditation, I realize why things are in that way. And sometimes I like to find out, is there a way to solve this? <laughs> Not always do I find a solution. <laughs> so today what I want to rant about is uh, parents spanking their children and giving them timeouts. Um, <clears throat> I have a child, uh, I have a son, he's no longer a little child anymore, he's grown up, he's a teenager. Um, and when he was younger, um, I didn't believe in giving him a spanking when he supposedly did something wrong. Like, you know, I think the parents are so nitpicky about a lot of things. I'm not saying let your kids run out into the freeway or anything like that, but um, I don't think that spanking your child teaches them not to do that certain thing you don't want them to do. I think a lot of cases, if anything, makes them want to do it even more. And I feel like when you start to spank your children, you're just, you're just replaying a method of abuse. Um, we all know about uh, how slaves are treated, were treated, still are treated, there's still slaves in this world that exist, and they were whipped and they were beat and they were spanked and they were all kinds of horrible things done to them. <clears throat> now when you do this to a child, it teaches them to fear you. And the last thing you want is for your child to fear you to be afraid of you. You want your home to be a nourishing, nourishing, <laughs> nourishing and comfortable place to be for your child. Um, when your child goes out into the world <clears throat> and observes all these things around him or her, um, their life is just more enriched knowing that they have a place to come back to where there's a loving home, you know, someone there that cares about them. Not someone who's gonna like give them a whooping because they stole a piece of candy from the grocery store. I'm not condoning stealing or theft, <laughs> but I'm just saying, um, just putting things out there and hoping that people really become more mindful before they decide to go and grab a switch off the tree. When I was a kid, that's what the method of spanking was. If I did something wrong, my mom would have me go out into the backyard and grab a switch off the weeping willow tree and would tear the crap out of my butt and my legs. So <clears throat> I don't think that's a good thing to do. It's not, it really is not. It's better for you to sit down and talk to your child or um, show the child more uh, constructive things to do other than what they were doing, you know, whatever it was, you know, unrolling a whole roll of toilet paper all over the house or whatever. Um, I think a lot of times parents will get just frustrated and tired because they work, uh, they both work nine to five jobs and <clears throat> by the time they get home, they just really don't have the energy within themselves to take care of their child uh, and really listen to them. So, um, get to be really mindful with children because that's the foundation. And as they get older, um, you know, they may not like trust you or be just afraid of you and not want to look you in the eye or be around you because they remember how you would treat them whenever they did something you thought that was bad. You would whoop them or you'd put them in the timeout. Now that's another thing. I don't think the timeout's a good thing. I think timeout, what it does is it isolates, it isolates your child and makes your child feel even worse for what they have done. So um, not a lot of people are going to agree with me about what I'm just, what I'm saying today. And that's okay, not everybody needs to agree with me. But I feel like in the long run, timeouts and spankings don't do any good. <laughs> they don't, they don't do any good. Um, you need to talk to your children. You need to let them talk to you. And to have that, e that open uh, flow of communication from the, from the get, from when they're babies. When you're holding your child, your baby, and the baby's crying, 
Don't just throw the baby, put the baby in a crib. Walk around, dance with the baby, take the baby outside. Um, a lot of times people are having children and they're not really wanting to have children, but they're just going through the motions. And you got to realize you can't go through the motions. This is an individual soul that's come down to earth for you to parent and take care of. And you made that initiative by giving birth and uh, having your child in your home. And that's your responsibility is to take care of your child, not to, not to spank your child and put them off to the side in the corner <laughs> until he or she has learned her lesson, his lesson or her lesson. I just don't think that's right. So there's my rant. Thank you for joining me today for today's show. I hope you enjoyed uh, the show today. Um, I hope you out there learned something from this. I mean, it's just my own personal experience. Um, and yeah, uh, I just think that people have to be more compassionate towards their children because once your children are no longer children, then that image they have of you of when they were young and you used to beat, you know, spank them, beat them, put them in a corner, uh, they remember. Children remember and adults remember. So just think about that and treat, treat your child with kindness and respect. And then you will get that in respect. Start from the beginning if you can. So, <laughs> alrighty guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares and thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below what you think about today's topic and have a great day. Peace.